Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this uh, Mini 1 2007 R56 and uh, it's decided to develop an issue here um, showing me the ABS DSRS light on as well as the tire warning monitor engine light. Um, what I've noticed the other day is that it came on but um, later in the day everything disappeared like nothing happened uh, but today just started the car everything is back on on reading uh, focus it's showing me that there is um, a speed sensor um, issue so um, the thing is that all the modules are have a fault code and all the modules are showing a speed sensor situation so if I um, if I check if I check the ABS it shows me speed sensor if I check the engine it shows me a speed sensor just different different uh, fault codes um, I'm gonna plug in the machine in a minute and we'll have a look at those Okay, so looking at all these uh, modules here, the CAS, the engine, transmission, power steering, they all have a question mark, and question mark means there's a fault code. So if we have a look at the fault code, I'm basically getting vehicle speed signal and uh, no count message from DSC. and if we choose another module cas read the fault code fault road speed signal and input brake lights impossible so <clears throat> there seems to be a a relationship here from some speed sensor that is causing uh, this one says no message from ABS ASC or VSC so either we have a faulty speed sensor or we have an issue with the uh, ABS unit um, but I did have uh, the car yesterday the car was okay so it, a couple of days ago all these faults showed up and then yesterday the car was okay all the faults were gone and then this morning everything was back so we have the dsc dynamic stability control uh, another s speed fault distance travel <clears throat> so um, I'm gonna have to have a look first I'm gonna um, disconnect the I'm gonna remove all the tires check all the speed sensors clean them up put them back uh, we'll have a look at that and then I'm also going to disconnect the um, ABS unit uh, plug and give it a clean i mean it could be that there is some moisture in the system causing the problem but we'll have a look at that as well otherwise um we may have a faulty abs unit so with the wheels out of the way um behind here we have this is the sensor for the brake pads and this here is the sensor the speed sensor for the wheel and uh, we need to remove that 8 mil small bolt in there so just be careful with those because if they are a bit corroded they can snap so if you're removing them just be careful so uh, the first thing I did really already is have a look at the wire 
the wire goes all the way down to the connector there so the blue connection there is for the speed sensor and the white one is for the uh, the brake pad so you can you could always inspect the cable make sure it's not torn or broken so same on the other side got the connection there just here also i'm going to unplug those unplug them just uh, spray a little bit of uh, electrical cleaner and reconnect them um i've already undone this one here just the bolt it's quite long um and then we need to pull this little sensor out so it might be a little bit stuck in there but we're gonna use something to remove it and also the front ones same idea the front ones are connected up here that's the cable there it goes down it goes down in there and then the cable itself connects um where is it mm -hmm. connects to the blue connection there this one here so again just inspect those cables make sure they are not they're not torn or something i had um i had a mouse eating uh one of my cables the last time not on this car a different car which caused the same issue so same on this side um that is connected behind there we got the wire running along there down there so that's the speed sensor but sometimes uh, they can get corroded inside and then they don't read properly and then generate a fault um, and on inspection i also <laughs> noticed that this happened to be there it's a bit of wood there from a tree or something so <laughs> i don't know how that got in there but then the car this car has been left parked for a few years so it's been collecting a lot of dust and corrosion and then the abs pump is somewhere up here a bit difficult to see but something to disconnect from above really i think and again just inspecting the wires because mice if it's a mouse they get everywhere and they can chew the wires i had a another mouse that chew my uh, they chew the fuel lines on one of the cars so i'm going to remove the sensors and give them a little clean with some electrical cleaner keep those a little clean um, probably spray a little bit of uh, WD-40 inside of the ring where the hole we're gonna see a hole let's see if we can if we can remove one of these and uh, just have to be a little bit careful again with these ones because they can be a little bit stuck in there so it's easier to do it with two hands as well okay that's the sensor there seems okay to be honest seems fairly clean um, and the ring inside doesn't seem too bad, doesn't seem blocked or anything either. So it's a bit hard to see really in there, but but that's the idea. So remove the sensors, I'm gonna do that for all of them and unplug them. So to unplug these, it's not really that difficult. It's just sad, but I will need my two hands for that. <laughs> 
um, basically get that and press on these little blue clips here both sides and then you can pull that out not really that hard but I'll do that now okay so here we are I removed that one I gave it a little clean just a little tip to be honest it's not really bad but this also got faulty so it could be that just one of them is gone faulty um, the only thing is I notice I can't access um, the ABS unit on the computer which uh, which means I may have actually an issue with the ABS um, so but since um, I'm at this point at the moment just gonna make sure all of these are cleaned and then I already sprayed some of that cleaner in there. So you can then plug this back in there. This can only go back in in one way anyway. And uh, we can put this back in the little place up there. I'm not sure why this wire is a little bit loose here. I would expect it to be more secure, but never mind. And obviously also have this one here. Again, I already disconnected it, sprayed some stuff to clean it. And same with this one. So this I also I sprayed a little WD-40 in the hole just to dissipate any corrosion there might be in there. So we just push that back in there. Put our little bolts. Don't over tight those, maybe 10 newton meters max. Um, and then we'll move to the front. Okay, so the front sensors here I've already unplugged that there the connection give it a little clean as well and um, this cover just pops out if you remove the little retaining plastic screw there so it's like a little screw and i just have to undo at the bottom um, a phillips screw as well so i can pull this out a bit and reach the sensor and now I notice uh, this sensor here is actually an allen key type of so this is an allen size uh, 5 and you may need to tap that in a little bit to avoid uh, having issues because if it's corroded if you don't have it in there properly it may actually round off the head and then it'll be hard to remove it so even I'm trying to be really careful with this so it's a little bit tight just gonna put a little bit WD-40 in the area so yeah, I'm gonna soak this other side as well just to help myself a little bit but what we don't want to do we don't want to round that that um, inside of the allen screw because if you round it like i said you won't be able to take it out and you're gonna have to drill it out
I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to soak because I can already feel that that may give me a little bit of trouble. So I'm gonna let it soak for a bit. Okay, so <laughs> the little Allen screws are definitely round, getting rounded. So um, instead of the Allen, I can't really use that anymore. I'm using one of these, uh, which has a lot of splines on it. Slightly, slightly bigger size than this. This is an M5, but I'm using a, a different one. So I tapped it in into the what was an, the Allen head. I tapped that in there. Make sure it's secure and uh, I'm gonna try to open it now Okay, that's working, I think. Those little uh, screws, they get so corroded. Um, it's, the head just gets rounded. So that's the screw there, and you can see how much corrosion is on that. I mean, if you need to replace one of these, this is more or less what you'll have to do anyway. And get them out. Can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, so there we are. Uh, now that doesn't look as clean as uh, the ones at the back where that looks really really dirty actually. And with some uh, spider webs. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of a break and clutch cleaner in there. Uh, fluid, just a fluid for uh, cleaning the dust that is usually created by um, the brakes. Okay, so let's be cleaner there. Mm. 
there's usually a ring in, in there. The ring is attached to the um, CB joint, which uh, gives out the signal. It's just like a magnetic signal. Sent to the ABS unit. Okay, just adding a little bit. A little bit of WD-40 in there. And the sensor is clean now. So I'm gonna feed it back. So you can see my my um, little bolt there is inside of this uh, other socket, which is an M6. So, no need to over tighten that, just close it, that should be fine. Okay, I'm going to do the same procedure on the other side, because the other side I know is going to round as well. And uh, just, uh, I'm going to unplug the sensor which is behind this panel as well and give it a little clean so that's the plan and then we're gonna have a look at what is um, what's the uh, computer saying or what's the car doing okay so I fitted the wheels got the car down um, just gonna see what it's doing Okay, so funny enough, it's hunting a little bit. Um, everything has suddenly disappeared, as you can see. The uh, ABS, the airbag, the flashing uh, tire pressure. So I just wonder if it was one of the uh, dirty sensors there. Only uh, the engine light is on. Um, so we're gonna have a look at that now. See what that might be. Uh, I think it was related to that speed sensor, but, uh, but we'll see. Okay, this is saying. All right, so I'm gonna try to clear that now. Okay, so I'm able to clear that now. So the engine light is on. I wasn't able to clear that before. Um, so I may need to uh, really go, go on all the um, 
the units and clear them out and see if I can actually clear them out so no focal there uh, even the transmission had the uh, same sort of uh, issue there uh, no message from ABS so actually I wonder if I can actually access the ABS unit um, or would that still be giving me problems I'm not sure let's give it a go uh, chassis ABS but um, the ABS connecting to oh right Okay, that's interesting. So it's letting me connect to the ABS at the moment. But I have something here, it says internal fault. And for uh, the fault codes also relating to all the speed sensors there. Um, let's clear all of this out. No focus at the moment, take the stream, wheel speed sensor. So if we check all the sensors here, they're all showing zero because the car is not moving. So that's a good sign. Sometimes if you have a faulty one, it shows you um, a speed. <laughs> it shows you like it's doing, doing some kind of speed, but obviously it's not if the car is not moving and it shows you of the uh, front left uh, now that's coming on it's kind of coming on and off at the moment okay so that's back and uh, now it's failed to communicate with the uh, with the ABS unit Well, that's interesting. So I think I'm going to next, I'm going to unplug the um, ABS unit. As you can see, everything has come back. I'm going to unplug the ABS unit and clean the contacts and plug it back in. Like I said, this car has been parked for years, so it could be that it's developed a lot of moisture in there. So let's have a look at that. So to get to the ABS unit, um, we need to remove this cover here. It's gonna give us better access. Take this out. Remove this 10 mil, which I already did. And we can take this and take bit out of here. and I'm just going to put that 10 mil in there so I don't lose it and this is the ABS unit here so I mean uh, this one down here the connection here on the side so I wonder if I can take that out without having to remove everything the ECU is here so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna disconnect the battery as well. Battery negative. Then I'm going to, maybe I'm gonna move this ECU a little bit out of the way and unplug the ABS unit. So just to have a quick look what's going on here. Um, I've removed um, three bolts and uh, that one there. That's a slightly different bolt. That one, um, 
secures where is it okay well first of all these three come out of um, here this one and this one here so securing this uh, the fuse box um, and then and the third one is coming from the bottom there that bottom the bottom hole there so that's those um, three screws and then there's another two down there so that one there that one there and the one and another one on the side obviously i also uh, remove these these are easy to remove uh, you just press on the little clip here and open that now i should hopefully be able to take this oops okay i dropped one of my screws okay what's another one uh, so then we can sort of put this to one side that's the whole ECU there. That's the fuse box there. But that gives us access, much, much better access to the ABS pump and the connector. I'm going to try and disconnect this. But I want to try and avoid breaking it as well. <laughs> Ideally. But something is stopping us here this cable is a little bit on the way right I just want to be a bit careful because uh, If I snap, if I snap this bit, then it's going to be hard to remove it. Okay. Uh, worst comes to worst, this is going to have to go for repair or I'm going to have to remove it and get another one. So, managed to unplug it. All the wiring seems in place, to be honest. Uh, I can't see any broken wires as such. So, I just want to spray some of that electrical cleaning stuff. I think I need another one. Okay, so I managed to get another one. A little bit more full. Just gonna spray the uh, connections there. Try to get them clean. If if anything is there causing the uh, situation, I don't know. Sometimes it helps. It could be a lot of moisture. Like I said, the car has been parked on the side for a very long time so could be a number of things it could be it could be the, the pump itself the electrical pump so i'm gonna spray this as well since these are out and then fill it all back okay so temporarily i refitted all the wiring here i got the my uh i got the abs unit plugged in and the battery is on so um this little screw 
just remember <laughs> came out of the cover that comes out of this so that cover is uh, screwed on the side here and then it's plugged on these clips and I drop a screw below so I have to recover that at some point um, right let's have a look at what is going on in here but obviously may have to clear a lot of codes since I um, disconnected a few things okay so at the moment I got an ABS light there but I haven't got the flashing light over there So all the lights have disappeared again. Obviously that's uh, going like that because I have to reset the time. I'm gonna get this going and we'll have a look and we'll see if anything comes back. Okay, so I just had the car running for a little while while switching this on. Nothing has come back as yet. Pressing the brake there, mm. and uh, we're gonna have a look at. There might be some focals here, but I want to see if I can access the ABS unit again. So it's letting me access the ABS unit, but I'm getting that focal there, so. Control unit internal fault. Uh, that could be what was there before uh, when it failed again. Okay, so no fault code at the moment. So I was able to delete it. Um, if it was something permanent, normally you're not able to delete it. So what I'm gonna do really now is I'm gonna run a short test that's gonna check all the systems so I'll be able to delete all the four calls that are there. In the meantime I'm gonna monitor if the fault reappears. Okay so I fired the uh, the computer and um, I've been deleting all the four calls just managed to delete all of them so now we are, I haven't got any question marks. I just got, I haven't got anything really. So, um, and so far the fault hasn't come back. So that's uh, interesting. Maybe it was uh, a bit of moisture or something. So, so far, So far, so good. I just have a, a service uh, reminder there going. Okay, that's interesting. That's coming back. It's all coming back. Kind of going off and coming back so so okay it, it was a, quite a long while without coming back but it's back so that means I won't be able to access the ABS unit which then means it probably has um, an intermittent in internal fault which is uh, basically 
making it work like this and that is a typical uh, issue with the ABS pump um, which means I'm gonna have to remove it and send it for repair or get another one but if we get another one then you have to um, it needs to be programmed into the car so it might be easier to actually get it um, repaired and sent back so I'm gonna go ahead now and, and remove that module and we'll have a look how to remove it okay so I just got my ECU to one side I disconnected the battery um, and I unplug the ABS ECU here um, also we're going to have to remove all of these brake lines from this uh, pump uh, in order to get the pump out and also we're gonna undo this uh, 13 mil uh, bolts that are here on the side there's one there and the one there I already loosened them so they're sort of ready to come out but that's uh, it's holding that bracket that holds the whole, all of this in place and uh, I think there's might be another one just here that we may need to lose in order to get that out but before that I got an oil pan underneath because the brake fluid will be leaking out out of these pipes so we'll, everything will get a little bit messy um, but we need an 11 mil to open this now sometimes this can be really tight and they can get damaged they can damage the pipe so the pipe turns with that so be very careful when opening this um, I think I would really prefer one of these keys but I haven't got one of these on an 11. This grip onto that better than, than this one. Um, so if you're doing it with one of these, just be aware of that. Because if you damage one of the pipes, then they're gonna need um, to be repaired and that would be take you longer either repaired or you will need another one <laughs> so so i got an oil pan as i said underneath as well catch this brake fluid it's gonna come out of course after changing this gonna have to um, bleed the brakes and so on That's the plan at the moment. I'm just going to undo all of these. I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six to undo. Like I said, it's all gonna be a bit messy. But take your time with this. No need to rush. So the more time you take, obviously, um, the more careful you can be with things and as a result, we won't be damaging extra bits. <laughs> so. 
So I'm going to undo all of those. It'll be a bit easier if I do it with my two hands. And and then I'll, I'll be back uh, to see how we remove the whole thing. Okay, I remove all of the uh, connections there. Um, and I went to have lunch. <laughs> so while I had lunch, I let this uh, drip as much as possible. Um, and then just gave this a little wipe. Uh, so just come back to it and I'm gonna... I took one of the bolts out here. Um, this is the other one. We want to remove. But also, we want to remove this 13 mil here, which I already loosened as well. Loosen that and then uh, just unplug this wire from the side there. It's just on the side. Um, and then... So, um, I got the 13 mil out, unplug the wire, we remove this, uh, this one as well, and then technically this should all be kind of loose, but we might need to cut this uh, or if I can just take the connection out plug it back in there but it's uh, cable tied down here so that will have to cut so I'm just going to cut this cable tie down there so we can release this cable here and put it to one side so this is pretty loose now have to come out that bracket around the back there as well and the whole thing is pretty much free now but uh, I think it might be connected to the air conditioning pipe that runs along there so it might be connected it might be not so I'm gonna find out how to wiggle this out of here and I'll show you before you can wiggle this whole thing out of here uh, it's actually cable tied to the air conditioning pipe so you need to cut the cable tie uh, which I didn't I just uh, snapped it <laughs> but anyway it's just a cable tie but then it is a bit of a uh, a game of a puzzle a bit of a puzzle to get it out of there um, I have a feeling that maybe there is a another way of getting this out but I'm not entirely sure if those holes you can undo those bolts and then that one there from under the car so you don't have to take the bracket out I'm not really sure if that is possible because uh, there is a lot under the car as well and it's a little bit hard to get to this bolts but nevertheless it is doable to get it out this way 
as well. Now I'm just gonna rinse this out, make sure it's uh, free of brake fluid and uh, we might need to look for one of these exactly the same part number or send this one for repair so i'm gonna clean it and then i'll uh, have to make a decision